What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, if you can ring the little bell and buy my soul chat, I super duper appreciate you saying, saying, saying. Um, I got a message in, channel message in, so that's why I decided to do, to do this reading. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. This is a collective reading, caps and sides, and everybody in between. Um, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, thank you guys for all the likes, subscribes, and shares. You guys are just the bomb freaking diggity.com. I love each and every one of you guys. My subs are the best. I know they are. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I just want to let you know that. Um, if you wouldn't mind sharing the videos on your social media and spreading my channel word of mouth, I would so appreciate it because it's really helping get the channel out there and getting people in, get, getting people in. So I really appreciate it if you, if you're able to, and you would like to. Um, also, um, I want to make this clear before we continue. If somebody comes to you, there's been a lot, a lot of spamming and frauding and scamming going on in the tarot card reading community right now, a lot. So in fact, the reading I just did, I got a channel message in that. So there's a lot, a lot. And all the readers, or not all the readers, but most of the readers are disclaimering that on their videos now because it has gotten so bad. So if somebody comes to you and says, hey, I'm Mary Johnston Smith. I want to give you a personal reading. I am Mary Johnston Smith. I have never, ever, ever walked up or went up or emailed or messaged anyone and said, hey, I'm Mary Johnson Smith. I'd like to give you a personal reading. I've never, ever, ever done that. If anybody's ever wanted a personal reading, they've always come to me. I will never come to you and ask you to, um, for me to give you a personal reading, ever. So if that occurs to you and they say they're me, please, please, please report them to YouTube because they are fraud, okay? I just want to make that extremely, extremely clear, okay? Because I am Mary Johnson Smith. So, um, or Mary D. Smith, just saying, that is me, okay? Johnston is my maiden name, so just saying. So, um, please, 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 if that is the case, please report them to YouTube because they are a fraud. I don't care if they look like me or not, okay? It's not me. I would never come to you and ask you for me to give you a personal reading. I've never done that, okay? I just want to make that extremely clear because it is very bad out there right now, very bad. So, okay. So, I channeled in a message. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the reading. I'm going to use Animal Deck. Um, the message is, the Queen Bee is about to be knocked off her throne soon. That is what I heard. And then, about 45 seconds after that, I heard some employment situations, some internet groups, some family situations. So, you take it how it resonates. Obviously, that's... Um, at least three queen bees. Um, now you have to plug it in your life how it fits. It could be you, or it could be somebody you're connected to, or you maybe you're the one helping knock the queen bee off the throne. I mean, I don't know. You plug it in your life how it fits. But that's that's what I heard. A queen. She thinks she's a queen bee for sure. About to get a huge wake up call. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, I heard she thinks she's a queen bee. So, this person, she thinks she's a queen bee. So, I guess, obviously, because, you know, queen queen bees, they either get accepted into their um, hive or rejected. Um, so, she thinks she's a queen bee, apparently. So, she thought she had it in the bag, whether it was a family situation, being head of the roost or whatever, um, queen bee status. Um or an employment situation, or an internet group. But I heard basically it's not, it's about the tables are about to turn. So about they're about to turn. And she thought she had it in the bag. Very, very, very conceited. People are really picking up on this now. Okay. Yikes, this is getting worse. So I heard very, very, very conceited. People are really picking up on this now. So this Queen Bee is very, very conceited. So she has no humility, no... Um, no humility. She um, is very, very, very conceited. I'm going to turn my warmer on real quick. Give me just a second. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry about that. 
So she's very, very, very conceited and um, people are really picking up on that. So she thought she was going to be accepted into the beehive, i.e. head of the roost of the family group or dynamic, head of a workplace situation in some type. Um, it could be manager, boss, CEO, um, supervisor, something of that nature. Um, or, um, what was the other one? Oh, or internet group. Or internet group. So, um, but apparently not. So, because the tables are about to turn 360. So, you take it out, resonates. So, she thought she was Queen Bee. She thought she had it in the bag, basically. Spirit messages you have drugs like this. True colors are really, really, really coming out now. Seriously. Okay, wow. I heard true colors are really, really coming out now, seriously. So the true colors of this queen bee, queen bee, we're all about a queen bee in here. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I decided to do the animal deck. Now, um, so she, she doesn't have whoever this is, it's, it's obviously a feminine energy, obviously. Now you have to plug this feminine energy in your life, how it fits, how she fits. Spirit messages you have reflective, whether she's in your family dynamic and she's trying to like emperor, emperor control everything or um, a workplace situation, or a um, internet group. Now, you know, if she's the head of the internet group, I, I mean, maybe you're going to unfollow her, pull your energy away from her, switch to someone else that's more healthy or copacetic for you, um, or if she's an admin or moderator, maybe that will be switched. So um, you take it how it resonates. I heard get another one. But she is a feminine energy, whoever this is in your life. It might she there might be more one of these people in your life in some type of way, or two or more, because there's three different situations in here. You take it how it resonates. Spirit messages you have reflected. Okay, so um, so I heard she's about to be knocked off the throne. So, you know, if it's the internet group, they might switch moderators. They might switch admins if she is a reader, because we've apparently had a lot of uh, mean girl energy in the reading community. Um, and um, it might be uh, that reader that I just did the reading on that's been slandering and frauding another reader, possibly, if it's the internet group area. Um, but I heard negative karma was coming for that person, so... You take it out resonates but the thing is is if it's something of that nature if it's like a reader i heard internet groups so that really could span a million different ways but if it is a reader you know people can just switch their energy from that reader you know to another reader um that's an easy fix or report the reader for abuse you know a uh, verbal abuse or something but uh you plug in your life how it fits number two 22 or 19 might be very significant two twenty two or nineteen um I want to point out we have lots of earth energy in here antelope spirit and dog spirit are both earth energies earth energy is Taurus Capricorn and Virgo and air air energy dragonfly spirit Gemini Libra Aquarius energy so we have earth energy Taurus Capricorn Virgo which is the antelope and the dog spirit and dragonfly spirit which is air energy Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. I hope everybody's doing okay tonight. For real, for real, for real, I do. Antelope spirit. Oh, I'm sorry, I got some uh, holy moly. I don't like mean girl energy. I don't. It's really nasty. It, it, it is. It doesn't ever produce anything positive. And I'm, I'm just being for real, for real. It really doesn't. You know, that's like seventh grade gossip girl crap. And I'm just serious. Antelope spirit, life is speeding up. But I heard true colors are really coming out. So this queen bee that thinks they just had it in the bag. About to get a very, very, very huge wake up call. Very huge. Okay. I heard about to get a very huge wake up call. Very, very, very huge. This queen bee. So some it's wanting to be head of a family unit or dynamic or something of that nature. 
For some, it is a head of an employment situation in some type, manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, something like that. Um, or maybe just somebody in an employment situation that's on a power trip. You, you know, you plug it in how it fits. And um, internet group. Now, some, it could be those abusive and fraudulent readers, or it could just be some other kind of internet group. Antelope spirit, life is speeding up. Things are about to really, really speed up very quickly. For the one about to fall and uh, others about to come up. Karmic cycle. Okay. I heard um, things are about to really, really speed up. Um, some for um, ones that are about to fall. So I think the queen bees, I think they just had it in the bag. However, that plugs in your life. And some that are about to um, basically rise up. Um, I heard karmic cycle. So the karmic cycle is basically the cycle of life. Now, in this case, we're not talking about karmic energies trying to beat people down. Um, at least, God, I hope not. I hope not. I just heard karmic cycle. But, there is, you know, there's a karmic cycle of life. What you put into the unit good into the universe comes is supposed to come back to you in a positive way what you put negative into the universe eventually comes back to you negative in a negative way it might not come back immediately but it will so that's what i'm taking when i heard karmic cycle is the cycle karmic cycle what you're putting in these people are these same energies apparently it doesn't sound like they're putting in good and whatever sounds like some kind of positions of high authority wherever that plugs in um they're not putting good in and so it's showing and it's about to basically cause a downfall downfall is what i'm taking on this but i heard um uh it's about to really really speed up um some in a positive way and some in a negative way so the queen bees the fem energies that are about to have a serious downfall i heard that, um, basically they're about to get a very huge wake-up call soon so i don't think they're expecting it um, because they sound, it sounds like they're on their high horse. They're on their high horse. They think they got it just in the bag, but they're about to get a huge wake-up call. Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. Truth transcends illusion. Illusion. I can't speak. Truth transcends illusion. Illusion. So meaning the truth is wh what is done in the dark comes to the light. So truth always exposes. It always comes out whether you want it to or not. So true tran truth transcending illusion, illusion is basically the truth coming to the light about these situations, whether these people want it to come to the light or not, is how I'm taking that as a reader. And this is air energy, Gemini Libra Aquarius. A Gemini Libra Aquarius could be bringing this uh, truth to, to the light, or a Gemini Libra Aquarius could be downfalling, like a, um, the Queen Bee. You take it out, resonates. But the truth is coming to the light regardless of whether these queen bees want, them, want it to or not, basically. And I think it's about other people. I think other people are about to really, really stand up for these situations and uh, speak their truth. This is exactly what I think. Now, whether it's shifting, if the internet group situation, whether you're shifting your energy to another group or if it's a reader or... Um, um, or blog site or whatever, um, you plug it in your life how it fits, or the employment situation or the family situation. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. Someone is about to be very, very loyal to another. Really show it. Speak their truth in other ways for some. Okay, so you check it out. Resonates. This is beautiful. Heard someone's about to really, really be loyal to another. Really speak their truth in other ways for some. So um, if this is you, I think you're going to help expose the truth on these uh, queen bees that think they're the shiznit, basically. I think you're going to speak, speak your truth. You're going to speed up the process. You're, you're going to speed up the process. You're going to speak your truth. 
and you're going to be, I heard, very um, loyal and really, really um, speak the truth. I think for some in the past, you didn't. Um, and you're going to help expose the truth. So I think in the past, you didn't. You just kind of sat in the, um, you know, the wayside to the side, sidelines, and you just kind of observed. But now I think you realize you're going to need to take some action. Um, absolutely. And so you're going to be very loyal to the one, uh, one or ones that you know deserve it and really speak the truth on this queen bee. Um, and it doesn't sound like it's pretty truth. And once you do that to whoever you're going to speak it to now, whoever you need to speak it to. It sounds like somebody important, though. I'll tell you that. It definitely sounds like somebody important, for sure. But once you speak it, it's going to speed things up in a huge way. You will get very positive karma from the universe doing this. Intuitively, you know this. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so I heard you will get very positive karma from the universe doing this. You know this. Intuitively, you know this. So you're very highly intuitive, whoever you are. Um, and you speaking the truth on this queen bee. I'm going to call them conceited queen bee because they they sound very conceited. A conceited queen bee in whatever area that fits in your life. Um, you're going to get very positive you know, uh, karma from the universe. So you're going to get positive. And I'm assuming the situation or the person or the people or however that resonates will get very positive karma as well. Because I heard there's people going to come up once these shifts occur. These people, once, once this happens, the queen bees, conceited queen bees are going to go down. But it's going to give other people chances to that deserve it to really, really, um, you know, um, take on opportunities, basically. Because it sounds like the conceited queen bees are snatching all the opportunities um, from others. And they're doing it for very strategic reasons. They have these powers of control, whether it's family, internet groups, or um, employment situations for reasons. Um, that's exactly what I think. But I think one of you guys, at least one of you guys, is very, very highly intuitive, and you know this, and you're about to help the situation in a huge way, a huge, huge, huge way, a huge way. Um, so that's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, let me get a moon cycle card, and then we'll close it. Oh, my God, I've got my heater blaring. I'm about to have, like, sweat rolling down my armpit. It is freaking hot in here. Spirit messages you have reflected. I think you're really, really, really waking up to this situation. I just want to say, I think you're really, whoever I'm speaking to here, that's about to help this situation in a huge way. Spirit messages you have reflected. Because you're about to help bring these people basically back to reality and humanity, basically. Because, um, oh my God, yes, we have the assessing card. Um, I think, I think, you know, I think, you know, I, I, you do know you're highly intuitive. You do know, you do know. And I think you've been watching this situation for a hot ass minute and you're about to take some action. And that's very smart. My hat's off to you, whoever this is for. Um, you're about to speak your truth. And I think several people are about to speak their truth. I don't just think one is, I think several are. And it's really going to affect some change up in here. Um, whatever situation we're talking about here. Um, so 1922, two or nine might be very significant. We have number nine on the assessing card. So 1922, two or nine assessing. We got out assessing. So you've been really, really watching. You've been watching the situation go down. You've been probably staying in the shadows or staying on the sidelines and being very, very quiet about it, but you're not, you're not going to anymore. You are about to speak your truth. And I think, think to somebody very freaking important that's going to help it in a huge ass way. It's going to help so much, so much. Okay. I heard it's going to help so much, so much. So whoever you're going to speak it to, it might be one person, it might be several people, but whoever in the world you're about to speak it to, I heard from spirit, it's going to help so much. So you're going to be like the dragonfly spirit and really um, transcend the illusion. You're going to break the lies. You're going to speak the truth. 
And so you've been assessing the situation. You've been seeing everything go down. Um, and I think you've been learning. And now it's time basically to speak the truth. Assessing, for anybody who doesn't know, it's basically observing situations. It's observing. It's really observing. Observing the situation. Really, really, really focusing on the little things and really figuring out why situations are happening the way they are, why people are acting the way they are, um, that kind of thing, um, and how things are playing out. So you've been watching things go down. You've been... I think sitting on the sidelines, being quiet about it, but buddy, you're not about not to be. You are about to speak your truth, baby. And it's going to cause it to speed up in a huge way. And you're going to be loyal to, I heard at least one person in the situation. And really, um, and some, it might be several people and really, really, really um, speak your truth. This is beautiful. It's about to go down. Okay, I heard it's about to go down. Big. I heard it's about to go down. Big. So it's about to go down. Holy crap. Okay. Somebody has got some serious truth. Serious truth. I'll tell you that. They have some serious truth that could be life-changing. Life-changing to this loyal person. Um, and I think you're about to be loyal. I think you're about to be very loyal and stand up. To person, people, place, or situation that was not loyal. And I heard it's going to help you and the situation and another. Um, I'm pretty sure it's what I heard. But um, so you're really about to show your loyalty and really um, pay it forward. And I heard it's really going to help you too. It's going to help you and others. So that's beautiful. But you have some serious truth that you know. And buddy, you are about to expose it. I heard from spirit is definitely the right move, basically. So, of course, you can listen to the spirit messages or not listen to the spirit messages. You take it out resonates. All right, we're done. We're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. Um, I appreciate all the likes, subscribe, and shares. The channel is just... Pew, 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 pew. But we want to keep it going. Pew, 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 pew. So, please, 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 please share the videos. Spread word of mouth. And um, I appreciate it. I just really, really do. Love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.